Ja, ne, ich bin's wieder, Kesuna Ihara. Ich bin mit Let's Play von Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. Und heute bringen wir die dritte Episode zu einem Ende. Weil es kommt jetzt nicht mehr viel. Denke ich zumindest. Ja, müsste. So, der gute Professor will nicht aufgeben. Professor means, always means what he says and says what he means by all means. Fine then. Say it already. I'm waiting. The murder occurred the night before, but the body wasn't found until late the next day. All the students passed the stage till they met in the lecture hall of the mock trial. So, answer me this. Why didn't anyone see the body that entire time? That can be explained by... Uh, uh, If the victim was murdered on the stage and left there, the body would inevitably have been discovered. And of course there was nowhere to hide the body upon that stage. This is not good, Athena. Our claim is this close to being beaten to a pulp. I know, but we've come so far. <laughs> Consider yourself schooled. I couldn't have possibly killed anyone. The killer is none other than Juniper Woods. It always has been, and it always will be. Uh, just wait a minute. Poor Juniper. She must seriously regret having asked you to defend her. Uh. And to add insult to injury, you nearly had you convicted for murder. Surely, you haven't forgotten that little fiasco? Uh. Oh, jetzt geht's aber los hier. Was ein Arschloch! Not only did you fail to defend your client, you also raised false charges against her friend. You have no right to call yourself a lawyer. <gasps> das nimmst du zurück. But if this trial proceeds in the same manner and ends in the same way as the mock trial, wouldn't you not lose everything you've worked so hard to gain? Well, I'll just have to make sure that doesn't happen, then won't I? Don't tell me I failed once again. I need to save someone near and dear to me. I've worked so hard to become a lawyer, and even studied psychology. Has it all been for naught? Am I just doomed to relieve that all over again? <sighs> uh, uh, uh. Uh, Athena, what's wrong? He's in... He's out... Ethan, relax, Athena, breathe. It's not working. Everything's going dark. After all I've done, is this how it ends? Forgive me, Juni. I couldn't protect you like I said I would. that I could stop hiding and start living my life as a girl again. And she saved the friendship between you, Juniper, and me. I think you're an awesome lawyer, Athena. One of the best. But I raised 
these false charges against you. That's not all. You've done some seriously unforgivable things. <laughs> What's the big deal? Fast charges are nothing to be scared of. And I'm not even mad at you. I should really be thanking you. You use legitimate means to expose my wrongdoings and give me a chance to re-examine what's important. But what does it matter if I can't save Juniper? I mean, the whole reason I've come so far is... It's not over yet, Dina. Even now, at this very moment, I still believe in you. Juni... I know you're better than most people, Tina. And I know you'd never surrender to the Dark Age of the Law, like the Professor did. Thank you, Juni. I feel like I can barely breathe. I don't know what else to do. Silence. Stop your bleating this instant. You look an utter fool. Prosecutor Blackwell? There is one who awaits you, is there not? And that's the reason you have studied so very hard. Are you prepared to give up on all you have worked for thus far? It would not do to have you disappoint you know who! your time you have nothing on me no evidence or anything else you establish my guilt you are helpless before the might of lawyers for whom the end justifies the means Heinz Maul don't worry Athena you're doing fine the truth will always win against people like him but Apollo what am I supposed to do now? Listen, all you have to do is take a deep breath and look back over the entire case. If there's truth to be found, and there always is, you're sure to find it. Now, let me see you smile. Remember what Mr. Wright said? The worst of times are when lawyers have to force their biggest smiles. Everyone. You don't have to worry about me now. The worst of times are when lawyers have to force their biggest smiles. Athena Sykes is psyched and ready to rock. Prepare for your year to defeat. Professor Court wasn't killed in the art room. She was killed right where her body was found. We know because there wasn't any time to move the body there from somewhere else. That means the body had to have been hidden somewhere on stage until it was found. Let's think along these lines and see where it takes us. First up, when did Professor Means remove the body from its hiding place? Well, let's see. What was he doing right before the body was discovered? He was using the span of time his fake alibi created to move the body to where it would be more easily spotted. Therefore, the only time Professor Means could remove the body from its hiding place is... Yeah. Während the mock trial. It was during the mock trial. Specifically... Während seiner Rede. Professor Means moved the body to an easily seen location during his long pre-recorded speech. The professor also moved something to the stage that wasn't there before. Specifically, 
die weiße Statue. During the mock trial, Professor Means wrapped the White Lady Justice in the school banner and sent it zipping down to the stage with a crash, killing two birds with one stone. The drew attention to the body and made it look like the murder occurred in the art room. But was there anywhere to hide a body on that stage? It doesn't seem likely. No, there had to be some place. Wait a second. How about something that should have been finished but was only mostly done? Something was used to cover the body up. But it didn't draw undue attention because it looked like it belonged there on stage. In that way, no one would suspect there was a body hidden inside. What was already on the stage and capable of concealing a body? Da wir ja die Stücke von dem äh, Statue von Klavier gefunden haben und der Schulbanner ja benutzt wurde zum Transportieren, bleibt nur die Statue von Phoenix. Oh, I know! The Mr. Wright statue was never actually finished! The body was wrapped under some clothes to hide what was really inside. Cleverly disguised it as the boss's statue. Miss Newman gave up on the right statue, yet Professor Means finished it in a single night. Yes, what an impressive feat that was! No. His so-called work of art deserves none of our praise. That's because it was only a facade to hide his real work. The murder of Professor Court. Come again! I'm afraid I don't follow! He hit the body by making it look like the statue of Mr. Wright. Within the body, wrapped under a piece of cloth, it looked, looked just like a statue. B -b what? I s a second, a what? <laughs> no, it's getting interesting. No, this is getting preposterous. How would such a thing even be possible? Objection. We'll never know until we try. Uh-oh, I think I know where this is going. Okay, Apollo, time to turn me into a reasonable likeness of Mr. Wright. I'm going to pose like the statue, like so. And now I want you to wrap me up in a cloth so that I look like a statue. Um, I had to ask the obvious, but where am I supposed to get this magical cloth? request was it's kind of the best I could do your honor all right I think that's about does it well what do you think everyone do I look just like a statue of mr. Wright or what looks like some random person to me where to start to repair of busts Phoenix Wright has a spiky hair on the back of his hat. Forget the hair, the statue's hat is way bigger than your average person's anyway. You gotta hand it to me for trying anyway. Wait, that's it! The hands! Um, her arms are raised over her head and there's a dark bruise around her wrist. Yeah, the professor was probably tied up with something. The marks on her wrist indicate that she'd been tied up. Apollo, tie me up in a new pose. Wait, you're not into this kind of thing, are you? What? No! Besides, this was your idea. Just tell me how you tie your hands already. Professor Court's wrists were tied together, and I can't help but think that's all related. How should I arrange myself to match the shape I want given her hands and were tied? Ja, hinter ihrem Kopf. Apollo, tie both of my hands behind my head. See, this makes it possible.
impossible to fake the spikes off the back of Mr. Wright's head. Sure, but then what about the statue's arm? With both arms behind your head, you can't exactly complete the pose. Yeah, it would be awfully hard to make the objection pose like this. Hmm, I can't help thinking you've forgotten something, Athena. Something on the body that you don't have right now. What did the victim's body have that I don't? The file. Oh, right! There was an arrow sticking out of her side. Okay, Apollo, take that and plunge it into my side. What are you, crazy? Fine, then go get some duct tape. Rapido, schnell! Alright, alright. I don't need to know other languages to know bossy when I hear it. The fatal arrow to the side. Spike hair created from two hands. A masterpiece in the making. Now cover me with the clothes. But remember to make the arrow stand out, okay? Naya. Mommy, the arm's too short. Shh, remember your indoor voice, dear. Nobody's buying it. The arrow's nowhere near long enough. But... What else could you use for the arm? Still won't give up, huh? I must commend you, if only for your spirit and determination. Of course she's not giving up! After all she put me through, she owes me an explanation and one that makes sense! No, disappoint me again and the penalty will be double paid fully! Yikes! I guess I'd better get it right this time. Think, Athena, think! Professor Court was murdered when she stopped by the stage to see Professor Means. If it wasn't premeditated, he must use something close at hand in his little rus. Apollo, show me those stage setup photos again. Like that? Right now? Uh, okay, hold on. Please, 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 please be in this photo. It just has to be. Arm on the Mr. Right statue is really this right here. Okay. Yeah, da hätten wir es doch. Sein wunderschöner Globusstab. Got it! I know what he used uh, for the arm on the statue of Mr. Right. This is absurd. There's no such thing in this photo. <laughs> Don't play dumb with me, Professor. It's the staff you have right here. S staff? This is the spear of a great legal warrior. Whatever, just hurry up and lean it to me. The length is perfect. Mr. Wright couldn't possibly object to such an awesome arm. Okay. Go for it, Apollo. Sure, I'll give your hand a ha oh, arm a hand. Clothes and body coming right up. Objection. It's Phoenix Wright! Look, it's that famous lawyer! That's definitely him, and not that pose anywhere. We did it! Didn't we? <laughs> well, am I not the spinning image of the legendary Phoenix Wright? The man who will bring us out of these dark ages and into an area of brilliant golden light! All I see before me is the pink specter of a man. <laughs> That's just because Mr. Wright likes his statue. He's positively tickled pink. Get it, Apollo? He's tickled pink! <laughs> nah, that joke deserves a pink slip. Hmm, it's 
seems the gallery is quite impressed with the defense sharp thinking. And the witness? Bah! The resembles is nothing more than a coincidence. Objection. Not so fast there, Buster. Unfortunately for you. I can prove my theory to be more than mere coincidence. Coincidence. To prove that his spear was thrust into the victim, all I have to do is... Yeah. Test us off blood. We had assumed the victim's jacked wound came from the arrow being forcibly shoved in. But if the wound was from the spear instead, then we should be able to detect traces of the victim's blood on it. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, yawn! Refresh us, if you will. Ha, er wird nervös! Fress das Schlampe! By any means possible. What if I get rid of my spear? Wait, what if I burn it? If I do that, I'll be found innocent. Yes, I'm innocent, I tell you. Hmm. Surely you don't expect us to take lecture from you now. Now, I ask you in the gallery. Help me decide the professor's fate. Sykestoner suspected blood was detected on his death. He was admitted to this heinous crime, all of it. Be sure to join us in the clink tomorrow. His teaching skills can be put on to good use there. Great, he'll teach felons that the end justifies their means. So much for he re rehabilitation. Can I ask what the professor's motive was? <laughs> I could barely make out of a word he said on account of his shattered teeth. One of Blackwell's fellow inmates was once a surgeon. Why not a former dentist too? I eventually had him put pen to paper. It turns out Professor Means was the one taking bribes. The victim had suspected him after a report from the class snitch. That led her to question him at length the day of the killing, right there on that stage. The result? The heinous crime that was brought before this court. The fool, like Newman, had come to know of the script's contents via the victim's note. It seems they came up with a plan to stab the victim with her own L in order to make the killing look like the one in the script and thus frame the defendant. But that scrap of paper with Hugh's name had the same mark as Professor Court's planner. Yes, about that. Those planners are bestowed upon all students graduated at the top of their class. Really? So then... Indeed, once upon a time, Professor Means was also evolved the same notebook. The handwriting has been analyzed now, but like as not, the scrap belonged to him. This too was evidence of the bribery scheme that the victim has obtained. Now that Costan's corpse was clean and that only Aristotle Means took the bribes. To think a professor would murder a colleague, then try to pin it on a student! If this is the dark age of 
the law, then we can only hope that a brighter future awaits. And the first step is to hand down my verdict for a promising young lady. The court finds the defendant Juniper Woods. Not guilty! Du hast es geschafft, Juni! Ja! Konfetti! I wish you all the best on your road to becoming a courtroom judge. We will need you young people like you. And we will hope to restore the law of its former glory. Yes, your honor. I'll work as hard as I can. Maybe one day I'll be able to work with all of you to make a difference. Proudly serve Professor Cole's memory. Do not let her death be in vain. That's the last thing I expect to hear from him today. Court is adjourned! Hey, jetzt mal nicht so uh, mit Dings. Schließlich hat Blackwell sogar mitgeholfen, als du in diesem Loch gesteckt hast. Das wird sogar noch mal wichtig! 26. Oktober, District Court Defendant Lobby Nummer 3. Thank you, Athena. I really mean it. <laughs> it was nothing, really. I can take the biggest tangled mess of a case and unravel it just like that. I don't know. You looked pretty wound up there at the end. Literary and vitriol TV. You look pretty hungry for a knuckle sandwich, Buster. I... I wanted to thank you too, Apollo. <laughs> Don't mention it. The way you were always there for Athena when she was in a bind. And at the detention center where your smile gave me hope when there was none. It was like the warm rays of the sun shining down on peacefully woodlands. Ah, das war der Moment, wo sie sich in Apollo verliebt hat. Oh, wie süß. I think you're an absolutely amazing person. Thank you, Juniper. That means a lot to me. But I still have lots of work to do. And I can't wait until we see you on Judge Bench. <laughs> I promise you, I'll get there someday. That's why until that day... I'll... I'll... Guys, I've got some big news! I mean, this is huge! Oh! Am I interrupting something? N no, no, it's okay. I think. So, what's the big news? The school festival! It was supposed to have been cancelled after what happened, but... We just got a call. In memory of Professor Constance Court, who worked so hard to make it happen, the festival is being extended on extra day until tomorrow. Really? Alright! Okay, that is cool. We've got a special treat for all of you. A love letter for Themis Legal Academy. Achtung, baby. It's time for the guitar serenade. Twenty-sixth October, Themis Legal Academy, third floor lecture hall. Schade, dass wir den Gesang nicht hören können, Manu. Aber dieser eine Augenblick, wo die Augen sich treffen. Verdammt, ich bin wieder zu romantisch. Wow, that was so much fun. School festivals are amazing. <lacht> I think you and Robin are getting a little carried away. Aww, your singing was Juniper. It could melt my H-E-A-R-T. Mr. Wright, thank you for that training seminar. 
<laughs> Just remember, the objection pose is all about attitude. Oh, and congrats on your mock trial win. Although Robin had you for a while there. I did, didn't I? But I'm just glad we're back to how we used to be, thanks to Athena. And you know what? I think I'll stick with becoming prosecutor after all. I'm going to make up for my mock trial loss by winning the real deals in court. Mock trial loss? What loss? Wait, did they reprise the trial and you won? Level-headed lawyer, course genius, and hot-blooded prosecutor, course student. Will go ahead to head in a mock trial battle for the she-devil's black heart. So, does this mean it's really gonna happen? Ju Juniper, there's something I've been wanting to ask, to say to you. Huh? Oh, is he going to... Do what I think he is doing? Juniper, can we still be friends? You know, best friends like we've always been. Huh? Best friends? You, weren't you going to profe profess your love for Juniper if you won the mock trial? No, I was going to confess that I'm not a genius and that I'm really 25 years old. But you already dragged that out to me during the trial. Oops! Listen, you. You too, Robin. Miriam. Ach, Miriam is auch da. Hi, Kato. M me too? Miriam's got this tactical espionage action stuff down to science. Metal Gear nochmal zum Schluss. I've been thinking, it's up to us to put an end to the dark age of the law if we can. Let's all work to together to usher in a new age where winning only results from the truth. And the end never justifies the means. Count me in! I won't have it any other way. <laughs> Best friends forever, huh? No matter what anyone says, nothing beats true friendship. You bet! And what about your BFF, Apollo? Aren't you a bit old to be using that word? But yeah, he's the best friend a guy could have. Which reminds me, we're supposed to meet up and gossip about the new girl in the office. Hey, not talking about me behind my back! So, what kind of guy is he anyway? Well, if I had to describe him in one word... And so, after some slight arm twisting, Apollo promised to bring me to meet his friend. Unfortunately, that promise was never meant to be fulfilled. For not long after, their friendship was mercilessly served by fate. And the bonds between us began to fray and unravel as well. Sorry, but I'll be taking a leave of absence. Even now, those words continue to ring in my ears. The discord in your, our ever cheerful Apollo's voice made him sound so cold and distant. Why, Apollo? Why? Why would you leave us all behind? Das ist etwas, was erst in Episode 4 geklärt wird. Und abspeichern. Bitte, danke. Denn jetzt haben wir das auch hinter uns gebracht. Ich meine, man kann sich nicht beschweren. Episode 3 Turnabout Academy ist dann auch fertig. Und das ganz am Ende war jetzt nur ein Vorbot, um endlich herauszufinden, was das Rätsel, was 
die erste Episode jetzt gebracht hat, von wegen, dass Apollo sich so stark verändert hat. Der Beginn dieser ganzen Fragebeantworterei beginnt hier mit Episode 4, The Cosmic Turnabout, womit wir uns dann im nächsten Part befassen können. Und, Alter, ich sehe es jetzt schon kommen. Die letzten, die letzten Parts werden erscheinen und uh, ich muss mich so zusammenreißen. Too much emotion. Naja, auf jeden Fall. Bevor jetzt meine Stimme wieder ganz weggeht, feiern wir das Ganze, indem ich sage, das war's von meiner Seite. Danke fürs Zusehen. Egal ob positiv oder negativ. Bewertung immer gern gesehen. Wir sehen uns das nächste Mal wieder. Sehr geil.